Technology is getting smaller by the day and the quality is getting higher. So let's take Sony's latest vlogging camera and see how good it is when we push it in Resolve. Let's look at the rumored camera specs first. It's gonna have the same A7S III 12 megapixel full frame sensor, which kind of is mind blowing. There's no EVF, that makes sense for the small form factor, and it's supposed to have better autofocusing than even the A7R5, pretty impressive. The cost is rumored to be around 2,500. I think it's kind of steep. Personally, I think if they bring it down to around 1,500, it's going to disrupt the market. Like it will become an absolute no brainer. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you can be notified about future content and let's jump in. The footage is shot in S-Log3 and generously provided by the Instagram real king, Jason Morris. He also puts out banging content on his YouTube channel. Let's blow him up and make his wish come true to hit 100K on YouTube before summer. The links to both are in the description. In Resolve, I've already gone ahead and prepped my node tree. So let's go through it. We're working in DaVinci Wide Gamut for all our color adjustments. So I'm taking S-Log3 footage, converting it to DaVinci Wide Gamut. Everything here is gonna happen in DaVinci Wide Gamut. And then on the output, we're taking DaVinci Wide Gamut and converting it to Rec. 709. So this is basically our unaltered log to Rec. 709. And this is what it looks like, okay? And then I'm gonna be using my show LUT that's gonna look like this. And it looks really wrong right now because the balance is completely off and you can look at it in the scopes. Like look at how much green we have and magenta action that's happening. So the image is completely off. We have to balance it and you can see it in the vector scope right here too how far down it is. So it's supposed to be right in the middle. So that's where we need to bring it in. But you can see how pushed this LUT is. And this is really going to test how far I can push my image. And don't worry, by the end of the video, you will know how to download this LUT for free. So I'm gonna go under my base. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my offset in the HDR palette to correct the balance. And I've done a whole video on best practices when using HDR palette. You can check out the video up top. And now let's go ahead and uh, pull this image out from where it was. So I'm gonna bring it up to something like this. Like I do want like a warm look. So I'm gonna keep it somewhere around here. And it's already looking pretty good, but I think the image is too bright. So I'm just gonna use again, my HDR offset. I'm gonna bring it down about half a stop and I'm gonna park it somewhere around here. And all of a sudden the image looks like it belongs, right? Like all the colors are fitting in. Like before the colors were kind of thin. Like if I go before and after, you can just look at the skin tone, right? And how it's just not, the colors are not wrapping around, whereas now they are. Uh, I'm also gonna go under my lift gam again, and I'm just gonna take my lift and pull it down a little bit. I just, I'm looking at his skin and I just wanna do a little bit more. I just wanna kind of make it dramatic, right? So I want to kind of push it. So now if we go to our Rec. 709 to like where we're at, like you can see how big of a difference we're making. So everything is looking pretty good. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go to my look adjustment. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my curves and I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to swing it until we get rid of the gunky yellow that's coming through. And we're left with this like really nice orange instead okay and i like what it's doing and yes it's pushed but i want it that way so i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna go under my greens and i'm gonna pull it down a little bit because i want to kind of expand on that teal that's being created so it's kind of pushing the colors and i, I kind of like that so i'm gonna leave that somewhere around here and yes this is a push look but that's what i'm going for right like i want to twist and turn everything and see how far we can take it before it actually cracks. So everything so far is looking really good and we're creating a lot of color separation. Even if you look at right here to right there and we're keeping our anchors clean. So the hair is black. The stuff that needs to be black is black, but then we're splitting the colors and like really creating a nice subtle split tone image. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go under my hue versus saturation and I just wanna go and keep my blacks even cleaner. So I'm gonna pull the saturation down in my shadows, not too much, something like this. And then I'm just gonna grab it from here somewhere and I'm gonna actually add more juice into my highlights. Maybe not that much, something like that. 
And once again, guys, the whole idea is like, how far can we really push this image and see what we can get out of it? So this to me is looking pretty darn good, right? And I'm parked on my hero frame. So I'm going to go and turn on texture. So I'm using a uh, film box for texture and it does a lot. Like, I mean, if you look at his eyes right here and what it's doing, and then also look at the grain that I'm using. So let me show you what's happening. So halation, I'm leaving it at super 35 millimeter. And then I've made some adjustments here. And then in the grain, I've gone ahead and selected 250D, which is a little bit of a thicker grain. And you can see how much it brings. Like, I mean, even on YouTube, you should be able to see the difference before, after. And this is where we're at. And if I were to play it through, you guys can see how much we pushed this image and how well it held. So let's do a super quick breakdown of like where we started to where we ended up. So, you know, here's our log. We converted it to Rec 709 and then I dropped my LUT and went ahead and corrected the image, then just swung some hues to like really do push and pull to see if the image breaks. But to my surprise, everything holds really well. And if you are interested to get this LUT, sign up for my free workshop where I cover topics such as skin tones, shot matching, gamma shift, and much more. The link is in the description. And just think about how far the technology has come. I mean, we have a camera that is smaller than my hand that shoots images that look like this. If the MSRP on this is right, this is going to be Sony's latest mega hit. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, guys, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you could be notified about my latest uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.